Hey there everyone, I'm back with another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I just have so much to talk about right now. Just a lot of stuff has happened again. Since my last episode, wouldn't you believe that more stuff has dropped? Well, not really dropped, but more like... Well, let me just go over these things one at a time here. Or just slowly go over it while I piece this all together in my mind. Because so much has happened that my head has been spinning from all of this lately. Anyway, so let me first mention that Square Enix decided to be nice to Australia and the UK by sending copies out of Final Fantasy VII Remake super early. Meaning, some people in those countries have already gotten their copies and have already played well into the game. And I'm, you know, I'm happy for those people and it makes me more excited to play it myself next week and just, it makes me, you know, happy for them. And I've seen some people on Twitter posting pictures of their physical copies, which is totally okay. You can totally share photos of your physical copies of the game, you know, the box art, etc. You name it. However, Square has also stated that because the game has not been released worldwide, that means that they do not want people to spoil the game by any means necessary until April 10th when everyone can play it. Which would make sense, right? Because only a few countries have gotten the game and some of us like the Americas, Japan, etc. You know, we have to wait till April 10th to play the game. Or later, depending on if your shipment's delayed by like Amazon or whatever. But some people, some people have gotten the nerve to stream the full game on Twitch. And as far as I know, that's all that's been spoiled. I haven't really seen anyone talk about the game elsewhere or posted pictures or whatever or screenshots of the game. I've only heard that people were streaming the full game on Twitch. And of course they got banned and their content deleted because Square doesn't want that out there. But people are dumb and just did it anyway. I guess they wanted subscribers or whatever, but what's the point if they're just going to get banned, right? So, I honestly don't get it. Square was very clear on their statement about not spoiling or streaming the game until April 10th. Because, I mean, they put it right out there on Twitter and everywhere else. Like, they made it obvious they don't want you to spoil the game. But some people either didn't read that post or they read it and just didn't care. And decided, you know what, screw them, I'm going to do it anyway. I just wonder why. Honestly, well, it's not like I wonder why, it's more like, I just, I'm so done. I can't anymore with some people. Just, they want to spoil it for others, and they don't care, and it's just, you're going to get banned for it anyway. And some people, <clears throat> some people have the nerve to complain about getting banned for spoiling the game when it was obvious in the first place not to do that, not to spoil it but they just went ahead anyway. Okay, so I'm done with talking about that for now because I've, I've said my piece. And <sighs> so in light of all this, Square Enix has also stated that those who have pre-ordered the game through the Square Enix store should have their copies being shipped out either right now or very shortly, like in the next couple days. So if you have pre-ordered your game from the Square Enix store, chances are you might be either getting it on release day or a bit early. So look out for that, check your emails, you know, check your Square Enix store pre-orders, see if you've got shipment updates for your game. And please, if you get it before the 10th, do not stream the game on Twitch till April 10th. Do not spoil it for others like some people are. Luckily, the people I follow on Twitter that have gotten the game have not spoiled it and they're very they're very aware about the rules of the game not to spoil it until April 10th and they're being very cautious and good about that so I am thankful that I follow the right people but anyways 
So if you are in any country, you might be getting your game early as well if you pre-order from the Square Enix store. Now, as far as digital copies go, they have moved the date of auto-downloading it to April 2nd, when it was originally April 7th. Well, according to Pacific Time, because I'm in California, so my auto-download date was changed to April, April 2nd. And I assume that'll be around 9 p.m. because it'll be midnight, you know, central time. So, basically, I will be able to start downloading the game April 2nd at 9 p.m. Now, that does not mean I'll get to play it that day. Because Square Enix, I guess, has decided to let some people download it earlier due to higher traffic areas, I guess, when it comes to downloading stuff and bandwidth and whatever so that they don't like have servers crash or anything when everyone's trying to download the game at once which I think is a smart idea so some people have noticed their auto download date was moved up some have stated theirs have stayed the same I guess that just depends on where you're at so if you pre-ordered it digitally go check um, your go check your PlayStation library where it'll list the game under purchased and just go look at the countdown and check your auto download date see if it moved up or not mine has so I will be able to download it like in less than 24 hours but I won't get to play it yet which you know is nerve-wracking but hey as long as I get to start downloading it early that that's good I guess but anyways that's about all I have to say for now and I just I really hope I don't run into any spoilers so far I've been lucky. I haven't seen any spoilers. But anyways, yeah, we are 7 days, 18 hours away from this game. We're about a week away from it, and I am just so done waiting. I've been waiting for this for so long, and like, I'm so done waiting, you guys. So, that's all for now, and if there's anything else I forgot to mention, I'll just mention it in the next episode, but... I know I said that last time, but then a lot of big stuff happened again, so. Also, Inside Final Fantasy, Re Final Fantasy VII Remake Episode 3 is out. So, go check that out as well. Anyways, that's all for now. Take care, and don't spoil the game for everyone. Just don't do it. Not until you're 10th. Wait until then.